Well, if this is the first time, my name is Tiki Lim. I am here to show you how you can design your own template, not relying on third party, and you have this good reason. You don't have to pay a money subscription fee to get some of this template or pay a higher price to create a template for you where you can create your own template and can be transferred to another website. Okay, before we go into the um, template, basically to create the template, I just want to show you how this thing layout will be. And most of your posts will be layout will be the same. You have the, um, of course, you have the header here and then you have the features email and you have the, um, got it, the uh, title and then the um, author and the date and then you have your this part is the um, excerpt and then we set up and this is your full content and then on to here down below you can put up an image and then continue with the content and then you have your author pictures and then you have your call the tag and then you get the social media on the right column you have your opt-in page this is the complete opt-in page here and then followed by we set it for three posts here down below is the uh, affiliate that you can place on and then of course in the middle here you can see subscribe to the new that is basically another way to capture your visitor and then leave down below is also the way kind of like comments and then you see you can capture them right down below you can see it is all the posts right that you have put it up and on the page post you can see from here and of course at the bottom there will be a footer okay the first part that we saw is basically you can see from here this is the uh, features image and then uh, we're going to put in the feature image first look at the feature so feature image is one column right so we we want column this is the whole column here and we want it to be about 1005 the width length is 1005 or even more so we want to be a full width here is the features image so what we need to do we go down here we look at features image so these are one you just drag and just drop there so the feature image will be up running okay so this is a features image so we need to know whether it's a full length it is not then we got to go back and then we go to style we go to picture first image side edit the picture yes then we move it to at least 100 and this maximum 200 let's check the, the width so you have the full width of this so okay the next one you see is the lighter here okay we go into look at this part here we back the title is three column here so we need to have three column and then we need to set the width of the column on this side we set to about 15 16 15 okay it's about 15 here we set on the right hand side we set to about 25 okay so we set about 25 so this is the center part that we want to put the title so let's go back to the features title post title we just put the post title here so the post title is automatic in inside already because we set it so let's check again on this one so the title is in the middle so we set this we put it into a middle otherwise we can change the color if we want change to text color blue color we take it as dark blue that is done so this is dark blue color so Easy. okay one we have set up the uh, three column the left hand side is about 15 the right hand side is about 25 and then the balance will be in the center so okay we have to put in the post info take the post info we drag and we just drop and it will reflect the dates and everything you have seen the name of the author the date and the time and then the comment so i don't need the comment take away the comment and the time i don't need the time so we have the date and the uh, author and the date so i need to have the date in front the author is at the back so what i do i move the author downward leave the date on top that is how you swap it around okay then you have the date in front but you have the icon here which i do not really want the icon so let's go into each one of them then we see the icon here we say okay none so we have to remove the icon so this is icon that been removed and the same thing to the author okay the author we go back to author icon none so icon is none okay so but then we need to put something like uh, okay in front of the author we say buy by so and so so keep the word buy there so you can see the word buy here so what you need to do is the next thing we look at it is about the color the links we want to change the color we can change 
change the color so it's up to us let's move to color maybe we put in a bit of red color a little bit so it's how the color has been changed so here and then the default the weightage and everything is down here uh, this one not necessarily the what but then you want to do you can start doing or editing here so we just keep it like this yeah okay here you see the uh, exit so we're going to put the exit here if we go back here editing mode we know the exit is just right below we look for exit post post exit right we just drag down below here so yeah automatically it will come out what you have typed in in your post so uh, this is an exit the next thing is we look at the content okay here we are looking at the post content so you see this post content here just drag and just drop then your whole content will come out together with the image so we are done with the content now so we uh, need to put in the auto image here now i'm going to look for uh, image See, i want it the image here i just drag over here place it down there and i look for the auto image so where is the auto image is down here so i just click here i will insert so the auto image is there but then if you look at it I want it to be in the round shape so i go into style i will look for border radius so i look for border radius no type no need border type i don't need so i need border radius so what i need to do is basically to set it round to let's say 25 right now i put it to 50 okay there will be about 50 55 even more round so that is 50 so this is how i put in an auto image inside here if you look back here that's how the auto image will be okay the uh, next thing that we do we're going to set a button just right below here so we go into here we look for a button i just drag the button just right below here right there's a button and we give the name like like we change the name and we change the name instead of clicking here because this button can link to anywhere you want so what we're going to do is we go into type in doTERRA T O right and okay we set all moving to just give them a round shape think 25 see whether it's enough should be around 25 so 25 would be look nicer if you want to go 50 you can say go 50 so right now the next thing to do is the uh, set it round we go for the bottom here is a social media so okay a simple way of doing this to look for it just type in social type in social it will come up social media button we just drag and just drop here just right below here so you already have Facebook, LinkedIn. If you want to add more, you just basically add one more here. Or well, I can add one more, like let's say I want it to be a Google Plus. Okay, so you have Google Plus. So now the format is in square. So we, if we go into button style, then look for button alignment. We want it to be in the center. It's a gradient color and auto column and things like that. So we want it to be round circle so it look a bit round but we don't want to have the name we just want the so what we do is to remove the um, column author shape skin and everything so here very simple we just go into style right, let's look at, no, look at content first all here down below it's talking about text and icon so we just want icon we just want icon but then we want it to be uh, two line to one line obviously we can do something here basically what we need to do if we go into here we go to advanced so we set at some padding okay let's go into maybe left padding we put a bit of padding on the Okay, let's go down to zero first then we go into one by one left padding we go to left 30 let's say we set 30 and then we go to right padding we go to left 30 let's say we set 30 and then we go to right padding so we can set some padding once we set the padding you see it will look very nice done 
looking at what we need to add on to this um, template so we scroll down the bottom where you have a subscriber for newsletter comments and then follow up by the um, post all the number of posts that we have created and that's how you work and then of course there will be a footer so the next thing we want to do is this one first subscribe for the newsletter so how are we going to do this let's look at this part here we go into here we have done up to here now in order to put into I cannot create a column here because it will be outstretched to the whole lot if I go into column you're outstretched so what I need to do is I want to be that thing is inside here inside this column so the next thing I do is I go into inner section we call this an inner section I just drag and I just drop it okay, the inner section always have two columns but I don't need two columns I just need one column remember that we have to put in the uh, so I leave with one column what do you call that the title the, the description and then follow by the form so what we need to do we need to put title we go to here the widget we look for title heading this is the title and then there will be a description so we just put in description first I mean tag editor we just put in here okay the, so we make, move it in the center so what is the name of the title which I already prepared some of this ready so that I just can copy and paste I don't have to waste so much time right copy I paste copy I paste over here this is where I want to paste right so as simple as that so I just paste it's already there so but then I want to change the color I'll change the color to so I go to style text color I want it to be dark blue you see dark blue immediately appear so the next thing is the text here I'm going to change the text here so I already prepared the text that what I want to put it in right so these are the text I just copy the whole thing copy go back and then I just go over here I erase this and just paste it over so you see my text already automatic there but then this text that I want to do go to star or the change it to black so the color text here is black so we give it black so at the bottom here we have to fill up the form if you look at this page here you have a form so we have two options one form is we can get it to purely rich to have the form which you have uh, together with the uh, interface with the uh, autoresponder the other one is the method is the form that send direct email to you all right so you have to watch out for the email when you receive it so I do two options I will do the form method here then next thing I will do the other one is under the autoresponder so where do I get the form from here I look for form this is a form I just drag and just drop okay this form it relate to some messages name email and things like that okay and then you have a message here but I don't need the message I just want the name right the name and the email so I, what I need to do I just the message I will just delete it off so I leave the name and everything so I don't want to have this label here we call it label I just want it to be here so I will do what I do I remove the label see I remove the label so you then leave the name right so I can improve improve by typing some word. label name is this thing so the placeholder is good it's a text here so I want to label in enter your name something like that okay enter go into here next type so placeholder the name here so I think this is this part here then you go into email the same thing you go back here go back to the field we look at the field for email placeholder or the placeholder 
So we say enter email address. So we can put out down to the end email address. K A D D. So now the button we have a name for that. So let's look at here what they do here. We put down here. Okay, let's look at this page here. Send me the newsletter. I'll go to this one is done. Next thing I look for a button. It is small. Alright, so we just put in a word here. So what I do well, I put in send, see that? And send me the news letter. So if you want to beautify this part here, what you need to do is you can create let's look at this. How do we do it? You want to have a long and then a curve around here. So what we need to do, we have to remember, we go to here. Button, this is button, remember this is button. Under the button, we go to style to look at. So we just want the border to be around. Okay, make sure that when we want to go into this button area, we need to make sure that it's in button area. This is button. Right, otherwise you go in the wrong view, it will not work. Then we go to style. This is form, so we have to change it to button. So now we know the form view is up but the button here. Right, it is a button. So when you go to button, you notice that uh, you see submit button, background. We already have the background button. We want to touch the text is what color, background, previous background and blah blah blah. So what you need to do is to go down to radio so the radio our chain I keep on moving up V25 so it's coming up now so go up to now it's 25 so it will be a long way button uh, of course you can go up to 51 but this all we're talking about adjustment is up to you to adjust okay so this is basically the button area so if you have so we want to if you want to beautify this one look like something like this right if a square sidebar then we have to go back here now remember this one is by itself one column so we need to go to column remember we must go back to the column so this is one column by itself Okay, we don't need to set the thing, but the only thing we go to style. When we go to style, we go to border, right? Same thing we'll be doing the border. Okay, let's look at it first uh, before we move on. We look at, you notice the border there is the border size. Maybe we will just see how much size that we want. So we're talking about border type, solid. So I want it to be solid. So right now it's solid. Then we have to move it down to let's say um, so this is a border color, so black in color, but we can change color later. So we want it to be blue color. So we want it dark blue. So you notice this is dark blue really, but I want it to be round shaded. Same thing that we have been learning. We go to radius. Move the radius. We move to say twenty five again. See how it look like but you notice that this is not sitting in so if this is not sitting in we need to put something on the top and put something at the bottom so we go back to widget we look for spacer so we drag we put a space on top so there is a spacing on top at least give some room for this thing to do but then we don't want to be 50 we reduce it okay we can reduce the size Okay, so the percentage, then we do the bottom part, we add in spacer, so as simple as that, we add it inside, so we become spacer, so we take VHI, so we, maybe it's a bit more, okay, so it will look more nicer, right, but then we, we want this one to be in line with, with this part here, what it did to do is we go into here, do away a padding. We go into padding. Okay, now I only pick up the left side. So when I move the left side, you notice I'm moving the next toward to 
same side. So this is what we done for uh, the whole lot of this. Okay. So the next thing we do, if we scroll down, we have another single column also. But this one is what we call is actually is a comment section here. Post comments and things like that. So how we do it? Go down right below here. We come out with two columns, but I don't need two. I just need one. So I delete the other one. Become a single column. Okay, so now what I need to do is to go back to the widget. I look at post comment and just drag and just drop. And that's it. You come out. We have another in the column. And this practically is done in that way. So this is the comment area. And then of course the setting will based on here if you click on this button and all the setting that you want to do is the comment where does it go so you need to go into the comment area in the advanced stage you look at it so if you want comment to be all the background border where does it go how does the comment go this will automatically go into directly to your email respond this comment will put it there and when they post you will go there right so now i'm going to create the lower bottom of the um, posting area so what we see here title and then i put in the image so i need to go and look for image so before i go i go to the widget again for image the image is on top of the title so put it here as an image so basically just go into look for an image it's an image that I have and insert and you have the image there right so title here let's look at what is the name of the title uh, more article right more I would I would want to do it differently maybe what I need to do is here so I want it to be in blue color color of this one so let's look at this style text color blue dark blue simple as that so at the bottom you will have the post at the bottom here so what I need to do I go back to widget I look at the post this is a post right but because we already set up all the posts so it automatically you uh, you notice here one two three four five I don't need five I need three to be shown so what I need to do here column three one two three and the uh, post per page is six I don't want it I want it to be um, three whatever it is so they read more they will go into well, this this is the exit that you see here normally the exit depending how so we almost complete the center portion center column we finish the first column center column and the next thing that we need to go is the side column remember the side one that if you look at the portion here see the side we have this part here we have in order to set up this uh, column here this is an auto responder getting from our purely rich and then we will start from here this is the image you don't have to worry about how this image come about basically very simple and easy so first of all we put in the title first subscribe to our newsletter or whatever we call it so maybe we need something different i just copy this thing i make some changes i just copy this just go into here we put a title here remember so i need to go to the widget go for heading put here I change this maybe I change it to something else different paste it subscribe to our layout okay you can say subscribe to subscribe to our something else like this let's say uh, okay dot error Okay, subscribe to Totera. Of course, it may not look so nice. Okay, let's change the color. Go to star. Everything that we do, we go back. I want a dark blue color. 
then uh, the spacing is a bit uh, what we need to do either we move this a little bit we move this column a little bit so that you give more nicer look or we can just change to you know that pole there we can change the size of it but we just did what we did in there so the bottom here is the form if you look at it properly this is a form okay this is a form that come from purely rich so when you go into purely rich you must go into our purely system we already have one auto responder which is linked up to code and things like that you can have just a code let's look at the um, the auto responder right we just look at it before we do this we do all our 50 over email here see that I think it's more than 50. My least students have put more than that, I think. I should be putting quite a lot. So anyway, there are 50 emails. So basically, it will run autopilot when the moment people sign in. But I need to create a form. One way is we have a form here. We can create the form to here. If I create, there will be a code. Or I can edit it from here. But I want it to be form widget. I use a form widget. So I can choose a widget here click down here you have plenty of the already pre-made template so-called pre-made template for our autoresponder so you can see all this I all I need to do is to copy the code so you don't need to learn so much about the code basically okay let's take back the same one I just click here so it tell me that this is the link to aromatic healer that mean it's under the message of aromatic healer that you see there are all together 50 email follow up so every five days there will be one email going up which you already preset so this is a format that i want or this is a widget so under here see the campaign name called aromatic healer so it's a male voice we can click here and listen to the voice congratulations you're almost done you've just been sent an email so I maybe I think I prefer a lady voice. So I change it to a uh, English female, or you want to have your Spanish female, Russian, and then you can have your own voice if you want to. You can use your own voice, edit your voice inside. So I want I prefer an email. So let's test it out. Same thing. Congratulations! You're almost done. You have just been okay that is the how the autoresponder works so i want the female so this one you don't have to bother except here except here you change the text let's look at the text what did it say here join us for more let me join us for more information so what i need to do i type in the text here right I type in the text join us for more okay info Oh, okay info so now I create this template all I need is to do is to get the code so you don't have to worry about the code right it's all being coded in such a way so I need to do I copy the whole code yeah okay. I mean I go to command or control copy the whole thing I copy now now I once I copy I go back to this part here where I'm doing it this part I need to put something here because these are all HTML code so I need to look for HTML okay it's a simple way is HTML you can see the HTML code here right so I drag this one the widget and put it down below here right so this is the part here so what I do I paste the code here so command or control V there you are so beautiful right so this is what we have done so you see that this will be exactly the same uh, if we want the text to be smaller we can just make a changes but I just leave it as it is and I think the next one is about the uh, what do you call that the uh, post that we want to put it up all right now we have done up with the um, opt-in page here but what next is the uh, 
latest post. They want to look at it. This is the top post. There are three of the latest posts and then followed up by the affiliate link or any advertisement part of it. So I'm going to do this too. Okay, let's look at top posts here. Go back here and then we have to do something here. First of all, I think I put in the uh, spacer. Put a space so that we can adjust the distance. So it gave me a space of 50. The next thing to do, if you look at it, you need a title. You need a title or heading. A drag below the spacing. Okay, below the spacing. Okay, below the space. The title we can say, uh, let's see. Yeah. We make some changes. Uh, we can say latest blog post. B L O blog post. P O O S T latest blog post. So what we do? I think the color. Is, uh, okay, we go to style, and then we change the color to dark blue and then I think we set this to content here I think we don't use H2 we use H maybe H4 H4 will be much nicer looking so it's more in line with the column okay then we, we need to fill up the bottom part here notice the bottom area we have all the posts but you notice the posts we didn't put much you know only the type the image the title and the date and then read more the, of course you read more it will link to our blog post immediately so what we need to do we have to bring in the post so we go to a widget for post okay what we need to do is uh, I just want the, the image the title and the date I go into here I go into the box. let's go into the content let's go into content this is the exit actually, but we don't need the exit. Okay, here we don't need the exit. Basically, we just want the title and the um, comment we don't want. So what we do from here, title we want, H3, and then we do not want the exit. So exit here, we off it. So the exit is gone. Only leave the data but the, here is a comment so I just delete this away so you just leave the date and you can see we just only have this but yes has six so I don't need six I need one column right here again let me see this part here one column but six okay I don't need six so I bring down to three okay so one one two three one two three this is three here so we are done with this so the next one is to put in the um, advertisement page or whatever you call so the same way that we are doing we bring in the now we bring in the inner section put in the inner section I don't need two column I just need one so I delete one All right so I need a title go to title heading here drag and drop this title is a bit big we just put in something like this advertisement oh it's quite long uh we bring down to maybe h4 let's see h4 yes much better be in the center color change the color to darker blue that's it darker blue so the next one is you notice that we have all this inside here so what we need to do, we look for a widget, a widget called image here, image box. Okay, so what we do, we just drag and just drop. So you have an image, you have the title, you have the, um, the, uh, the description, but I think it's short of a button. So I need to put in a button here. I look for a button so that you will link to where we're going to go button we will set it to the center the rest i think we start doing here okay let's do the uh, image first so i'm going to put in the image okay i put in the advertisement image just pick one from here See? 
This is an affiliate, so I just use the affiliate. Purely rich affiliate. Now I want to have the size, so I go into here. I increase the spacing, increase the width. So I increase the width. Right, so this is the image. Um, then I need to change the title a little bit smaller. Go into title, content. Let's look back at the content. Uh, what did the title say? Join our purely rich team. Okay, so join our peer. I think I prepared some text here. So basically, just to copy, bring back here, paste it. Alright, but it's too big. Never mind, we just change it smaller later. Start in the text also. Go back to the text where I put enjoy. Okay, copy. Okay, and then paste over here. Paste. So we change here. Alright, so we're done with it almost, but only thing we need to change the size. Go to style, content. Okay, look at content, then the title, spacing, color. Okay, color, maybe we change to blue, dark blue, you want. And we go to tempo, tempo, weight, okay, this one maybe 500. And then we go to size. Just nice, just nice. Okay, so the next one that we do, we have to go into. Um, let's go back to here, content again. But this time we go to description. Description color will be in black, purely black, and then the, go to typo. Right, typo. We teach maybe about 300 and then of course the next one to do is the button button in the center and then of course any link that we want to connect this link we can connect to our affiliate link or whatever when people click it will join the affiliate link click here to join so now I'm going to make the button a nicer look Okay, nicer look will be the, um, again, um, the radius. So we increase the radius round so that it go round, put it to 25. So you click the button, you go there. So this is an advertisement page. Basically, this is the whole link. We have completed the blog post template design, saving you a lot of money. Mastering the template design, you can earn designing template for brick and mortar business. I hope you enjoy learning and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to learn more about the next lesson. Thank you.